Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So, talking about the recent placements that are happening, IBM is hiring associate system engineers in bulk. So, if you can go and check to the IBM careers page, you will find that in multiple cities, this associate system engineer jobs are there. And for ones who are freshers, this is a very good beginning for you if you begin with IBM. You are surely going to succeed because the training, the atmosphere and the organization is really, really very good. Now talking about the ones who have already applied and how you need to prepare for the upcoming selection process or recruitment process. So this video is for you. Before beginning, I'd like to say if you have any queries, just ping me through comment box if you need any help regarding any particular company or any particular, you can say it, java mostly java topics or <coughs> excuse me the java questions do let me know i'll be there to help you out as soon as possible so let's see for ibm we have four rounds now the very first round is a coding round second is a cognitive ability third is english and fourth is technical interview plus hr interview yeah so for coming and talking about ibm english is also included so in third round and second round now talking about coding after that they have cognitive and then english now all of these rounds are elimination rounds so don't feel like uh, the second and third rounds are okay okay types no they are actually elimination rounds, and i have seen people being eliminated so don't take any of these lightly beginning with the first one that's a uh, coding test now as we know coding tests they vary from easy to medium questions always so it was a 60 minute round where you had four coding questions to be done these coding questions are basically easy and medium questions from the lead code a modified version of it obviously not the same being pasted but the modified version and they were basically based on arrays and strings so you can see uh, we had We had string anagrams. This is one of the most asked and the most easy question if you ever talk about strings. Okay. Then talking about checking grammar. So you were given basic rules uh, based on which you need to check whether the grammar is correct or not. Let's say the grammar specifies that uh, between two hash they cannot be. Uh, you have given a string, and you have been told that between two hash. Okay there cannot be a dot okay or there can be only a single dot and not two dots okay so if there are two dots you will have to print invalid or incorrect grammar or in the either case you need to print it's a successful grammar so this was checking grammar so basically it was uh, the string manipulation part now forming a string using an array of strings you have been given an array containing various words and you need to check whether that string is formed let's say uh, you have to check whether i love ibm is being formed or not using the words now you are giving the words like i love you ibm and some other words you need to check whether combining these will form the string or not so this was actually using if you are talking about java so you can use substrings and all functions too that would quite make it easy so this was it. Then longest palindrome. This could turn out to be tricky because it was not directly mentioned. The question was quite elaborated. So this took around 5 to 10 minutes to figure out whether what the question wants to know. So this was tricky. Now after this there were some 10 easy questions like uh, some based on oops, uh, exception handling about the finally block. So these questions were combinedly and uh, formed a coding test. Now for the students who gave the toll, like around 70% students cleared this test. You can see the 70% are clearing. That means the level is medium. It's not difficult. After that, they had a cognitive ability. Now this cognitive ability uh, for the second and third round, you are being given a meet link. That's a WebEx link where you are being proctored and uh, you are being shared this particular you can say test link uh, during that so cognitive is all about uh, games they have a quote where they ask you to play a few games uh, and i'd say you'll enjoy the most 
use your mind while solving this okay so there were number bubbles tally up shortcuts gridlock assemble and uh, that balloon picker too so that was amazing this was an elimination round please be careful and uh, it would take around 20 minutes uh, like max to max 20 minutes people did finish in 10 to 15 minutes too uh, around 20 minutes to finish this and after that around 10 to 15 minutes they'll uh, show share the results uh, via mail but you are being connected to the webex in that particular moment because it goes on after this the people who actually cross the cognitive skills they clear the cutoff they were shared another link that was for the english exam now you were still in the webex meet but yeah you are being proctored or not it's uh, one and the same thing because uh, they were like hundreds of students together and many of them switched off the cameras too while solving this and this was an easy one like if you know basic english basic communication skills then you can go up with this english test and it was a short test 15 to 10 minutes and just like completion of the words inserting propositions finding the error such kind of questions were there but this was again an elimination round and yeah many students uh, did get rejected or eliminated just because of the overconfidence too so thinking that english is uh, everyone's cup of tea so don't think that because sometimes just an easy thing can actually be a blunder okay now coming to the major round after clearing all this round there comes the last and the most important round that's a technical interview so here technical as well as hr interview are combined now if you talk about technical and hr so basic questions will be there apart from technical questions too so basic introduction it's always there talking about projects now projects any one project can be asked in detail maybe a major project they can ask you what project you are doing in the final year and I would suggest you to go off with the most effective like for people who have AI and ML and any one project from this pick up this and they won't ask any other question if you can elaborate this if you elaborate this in 10 to 15 minutes they won't even ask you a single question if they find that confidence in you okay then for people who had nothing to share like nothing not but uh, not much amount of things to share and tell them that yeah they are good at it so some db questions were asked the basic ones not normalizations and all just basic sql queries then oops uh polymorphism and inheritance like how you can tell them even encapsulation how can you relate with it then talking about super keyword yeah this was asked to around three students which i came in contact with uh what is the use of super keyword so in case you have any queries regarding this do let me know now why are you willing to join IBM this is a good question they ask you why are you willing to join IBM so the very first thing that you should have that it's a multinational company you'll enhance your skills you see yourself in a better position because of this company because of the skills you will gain here uh, or you can see you have seen your seniors or your friends or your family members actually achieving goals with this company so you can talk realistic things okay then then comes about client communication okay so not for all but few questions few people were asked are they willing to go up with the client side maintain cordial relationship with the clients and if yes how would they communicate are they comfortable relocation the various things they asked actually I wanted to know how comfortable you are while judging or while contacting or managing a client that is what basically they want to know and yeah this was an interesting this basically ranges from you can say 30 minutes to 45 minutes not more than that and yeah that's also a webex one and it was easy comparatively to other companies this is an easy one you can actually kick off this and while you do your salary range would be from 4 to 6 if you actually get selected so i would suggest you all try out hard and if you feel there's something i missed out or there's something you want to know do let me know in the comment box thanks for watching like comment share and subscribe